are you people doing? Eh? You. So my husband was talking to me. As the woman he married, you opened your you useless mouth to try to respond. Eh? Natasha, am I your mate? Ha! Huh, Natasha, let this be the first and the last time you will ever try to tell your father that I have not been nice to you people. Do you hear me? I'm talking to you. Bring back, bring, bring up this chair. Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Listen. Oh yeah, say it. I'm a useless child. I'm a useless child. And you, why are you touching her? Are you mad? Useless children. If I'm the one that gave birth to monkeys like you, I would have killed you. Don't mind her. She was just blabbing. It's alright. Let's continue. Father, we are sorry for the interruption. And as we requested, protect us from our stepmother in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you a fool? Hmm? Are you a fool? Natasha! Alia! You don't have mouth to answer me. You come on, go on your knees. Oh, so you are not bigger than me in this house. I'm sure it is one of you that has bad luck that is bringing all the problems in this house. Let me tell you, your witchcraft will not affect me. There is no more money in this house. My husband and I don't have money. That useless school that you are even attending is too expensive. So you know, there will be no more mention of schooling in this house. From today, school ends for both of you. I will advise you to decide what you want to do with your life. If you want to become tailor or hairdresser, I might consider, consider it. It's not about going to school in this country. Oh. It's not about going to school. So that is it. Did I ask you to, to, to get up? Are you mad? Raise up your hands and close your eyes. Raise up, raise up your hand properly. Who is, who is this one? Oh, you know how to do is pack hair money from money till night. You'll be packing hair at the shop. Get out! Useless children. What has dad done wrong this time around? Why do you want us out of school? I don't understand. Who wants you out of school? Mom said we're going to stop schooling because school fees are very high and things are very bad at the moment. Huh? Like the economy is bad. How? Look, even if the economy is bad, I don't see how that will affect my children's education. Alright? Maybe she was just playing pranks on you. Or perhaps she doesn't even know what she's talking about. I'm saying the letter mom doesn't know what she's saying. Natasha, let's go. The trip is sold. <laughs> of course. <laughs> ah, no wahala, no wahala. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right then. Take care. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, what trip are you talking about? It's an official trip. 
Am I coming? No way. So who's going to take care of the children? Am I now their maid? I don't get it. I'm not their mother. I am not their aunt. I am not related to them. You're my husband and I want to be with you. But you accepted them before we got married. What were you expecting me to say? <laughs> no to the proposal? I am not their maid. I am not and I will not be. Linda. Linda! Linda! Hey, baby. Hello. Hi, darling. Good evening. Who is this? Um, sorry, sweetheart. I, I stopped over at the home service agency. I brought her to help in the shores of the house, especially with the children. Good day, ma. Mm. Honey, I thought you said you didn't want um, a help. Um, yeah, but for the sake of the children, honey, try and understand. At least her presence here will lessen the workload in this house. I really don't like you to be stressed. Oh, so it's all about the children. Obviously, who else? Do you ever do anything for me as your wife? Every decision you take in this house is because of your kids. I remember how bad I begged you for help. You said you didn't want any house help. And suddenly, your kids need help. You produce one. I do not want any house help in my house. Come on, sweetheart. You can't do this. Linda! Wait for me here. Linda! Why? Come now. I'm trying to explain something to you. Why are you doing this? to do is to provide an assistant for you while I'm away. Our trip is in a few days. Please try and understand. Huh? At least this will aid you more space to attend to other important matters, you know. That's the part I like. She can stay. You mean she can stay? Men, Margaret Thatcher. Ah, ah. Oh, you are all the same. Really? Anyway, um, I'll see you later. Before I change my mind. Go from here. do we do Yeah? Me to start going. Uh, I see that you have some children helping out with the house chores already. And that explains why your wife doesn't want me here. What are you talking about? Eh? What children? Look, both of us have agreed that you're going to stay. So you have the job now. Alright? And I expect you to do a good job. Okay. 
Thank you, sir. So, um, yes, that reminds me, you've not seen my children, um, Natasha and Aliyah. Natasha! Aliyah, where are you? <laughs> Natasha! Aliyah! going on here? What do... Linda! 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 For how long has this been going on? Honey, what are you talking about? Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Honey... These are my children. What is wrong with them washing plates? Ha! I'm not going to raise children that are spoiled too. They need to be able to take care of themselves when we are not around. Now you listen to me. That wasn't just plates. I actually met the student cooking in the kitchen. As if they were used to it. Cooking? How? What can these children cook? I was in the kitchen with them. I just stepped out. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Honey, I'm so sorry. Actually, it's not like they were cooking. You know, they give them assignments in school. That's their food and nutrition assignments. Right, girls? Yes. yes. You know, so they asked them to cook something. Auntie Yaya, welcome. How are you? Fine. Here's Natasha. Come here. Natasha, 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 Auntie Aya is here. Oh, look at her. come here. How are you? I'm fine. Finish it. Sorry. Thank you. This is Yaya, our mom's sister. That's our biological mom. Yaya, this is Nikki, our new big friend. Your new big friend? Don't mind her. I'm her new maid. I just started work here. Oh, okay. Welcome. I'm Yaya, the auntie. Pleased to meet you. Same here. Um, I'm going to take the girls out, okay? We'll be back shortly. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, okay. girls. Oh, okay, you're already dressed. So go and put your shoes down, okay? Okay. Please, sit down. Yeah. Thank you. How could you? Eh, Nike? How? Oh, please, don't bother this, the poor girl. Eh? What were you expecting her to do? To stop them? Huh? Her name is Yaya. She just said she wants to take them out. I'm sure they will be back soon. Will you shut up? Huh? I've been hearing that for the past 30 minutes. Where are they now? Eh? Look, look at now. I, I, I know I'm traveling today. I've not even seen my kid to say, to say goodbye. Honey, I think you should be going so you don't miss your flight. All you need to do is call that, that uh, lady and tell her to stop coming to this house to pick up those kids. It's wrong. We don't even know where she's taking them to. Huh. Can you imagine? Eh? What's all this now? The kids are not here now to say their father will buy to me. Here they are. Ah. Alina. Natasha. Hi, dear. Hi, Alfred. Hi, Linda. Hi, Dad. Where's it going? Yes, I've been waiting for you to say goodbye. Huh? I'll tell her to go to the best ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Please, don't take my daughter anywhere again. Let this be the last time. What? What? what, what why? why? What did I do? What did you not do? Are you supposed to be taking these children anywhere in the first place? Their sister is dead. Let her die and rest in peace. Let these children grow up in peace. Stop coming to this house, though. I don't like it. Or do you have plans to marry Alfred? <laughs> I don't have your time. Aliyah, Natasha, be safe, okay? I'll come see you some other time. Bye. Bye, Nikkei. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Are you mad? Take that in the outside, outside Jerry.
Hmm? Levitate me, I'll miss you. I'll call you when I get there. Mm. Bye, Natasha! I'm helping them out with their homework. Really? Please retreat. I get you, mother. There are in your housemaid doesn't mean I am an illiterate. Someone has to make a living, you know. What? Don't you tell me, get out! I'm talking to you, you're saying this reason. Get me, get out! The all of you, get out! Right now! Move your things and get out of this house! You are asking me what? Thank you, you are asking me! Yes, mom. You're not dressed yet. Okay, I'm even supposed to be dressed. So I can go to church with you or better still drive you to church. You see the problem with you kids is that you are spoiled. They give you so much leverage in this house. You want to go to church. Today is Sunday. I don't want to lose my temper. I don't want to get angry. Just quietly go back upstairs. Remove those clothes you are wearing. Get into the kitchen. But Don't you dare but mommy! Get upstairs! Who do you think you are? Let me see how you will you, you, you will dress up again and tell me you want to go to church. Let me see. Let me ever see you leave this gate without my permission. Because you have fine clothes, you can you can aff aff afford to, 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 to go to church. Let me see how you will come and go to that church. Let me see how you go to the church. Can't do it. 
Mom. How many times have I told you to stop calling me mom? What rubbish school are you even talking about? My friend, go and remove that uniform, Jerry. What's that? Oh, so when I told you there'll be no mention of school in this house, you thought I was joking. I'm not joking, no. No school for you two until further notice. For now, go and remove that uniform and go and wear something else. You go and sell these things for me. Um, you, Natasha, you sell the pure water. Give one. You sell the orange. Did you hear me? So go and remove that rubbish you are wearing. Ready for school. Who will pay the school fees? You have two minutes, so if you like, cat walk to the room. I will use Kate to bring you out. It's not a bad deal. At least if we continue like this, we'll be able to save up some money and go back to school. Which of you idiots accepted this money? You're hungry. Hungry as you want food? Yes, we're famished. We are hungry means you want to eat food. Yes, yes we're famished. Exactly I have not eaten since yesterday. So, what are we going to do now? I'm thinking this one that one of you monkeys collected this money that was not good. Maybe we'll be able to buy something with it and eat. We're out of school. We can't feed. Is dad broke or what? Ah, my darling, please, we're not dead yet. Yes, we are broke. He promised we won't lack any- Shut up! I should call my husband. For you, as what? Are you not old enough to work and make money for yourselves? I should call my husband. Get out of my face right now. And carry this you you useless basket. Yeah, please, I want to beg. Try and shut up most times. Why should I? Because she will kill us if we keep questioning or challenging her. Natasha, already dead. This is not life. No food, no education, no parents. Not even close to where. Even people in the orphanage are better than us. My sister. Hmm. There's nothing I've not done. I have tried. I don't know why God has refused to give me my own. Hmm? Instead, I'm in this house babysitting those bastards. Hmm? Hmm, hmm. You know me now. Once I get pregnant, I'm sending them out of the house. I don't care where they go. They are out, out of my house. No problem. Please greet your daughter for me. All right. And Aliyah, okay. Oh, is that so? Oh well, they're not the first kids to do it, so it doesn't matter. So how come I am not doing it? My friend, will you shut up? I don't want to hear you say a word again. Is that clear? 
No, Mom, I'll just pick with them. Not in your life. Hmm? Not in your life. I mean, you just have to pretend like you can't see them. And I don't want you to talk about this with anybody in your school. Is that clear? Yes, Mom. Good girl. Now give Mommy a peck. Ooh, what? <laughs> good girl. That's good. What do we do? Hang on, you soon be home. going on here? Mm. And the urgent medical attention, does it require money? Obviously. Obviously. Does she have cancer? Then I don't have money. Okay, can I call that through your phone? Oh, shut up! Useless child. What use whose phone to call who? I should give you money. I don't know what this student take me for. You're not even lucky I've not gone to sell you. She wants me to die. Stop it. You won't die. Let me take you to the room. The sufferings. Oh, oh, Lord, my God. Even in your death, we miss you, Mom. She was the best mother any child could pray to have. Where are your kids? Why would you call those maggots my kids? Ha! Please. Talk of the devil. I'm not a devil. Are you mad? Is she your mate? I apologize! I'm sorry. It's okay. Mom, get, get out. It's your mother. Stupid thing. Please, Alia is dying. Let's take her to the hospital. Or you can give me some money. Let me get her drugs. Wait, though. Did she just call you mom and you answered? And when did you hear me respond? I cannot be a mother to a bastard. Yeah. It's not possible. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm so ready. Let's go. 
You don't have respect, Abby. Hmm? You don't have respect. Because you still, you still have hair on this your head. Very soon I'll, I'll use scissors and blade and shave it off. Aliyah. 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 Are you okay? What's the meaning of all this? Are these children mad? Ha! Now that's right! No! Hello, honey. Honey, we're fine. We're fine. We miss you, but we're fine. I just took the kids now to the movies. We went to see a movie. They're so happy. Uh -huh. You don't need to thank me. They're my children. <laughs> uh, 
you want to talk to them? Uh, no, actually, they're upstairs and they're taking a nap because you know now they're exhausted children. <sighs> okay, so when they wake up, I'll call you so you can talk to them. Okay? I know they're happy, but I know they miss you as well. But I miss you more. I love you. All right, bye. Really? Movies. <laughs> Natasha! With these bastards. These useless children. Natasha! Natasha. Natasha. Madam, didn't you hear me calling you? Besides, why is my living room so scattered? And why is that one lying as if she's dead? That's because she's dead. I was going to take care of these children. Eh? Now Alia is gone. Hey! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> I, I feel so bad. Oh God! Oh God! I feel so bad. I'm just sad. After all the money that I spent taking her to the hospital. After all the vigils and the prayers that I had on her behalf, they had still snatched my baby away from me. What will I do in this house? Who will call me mommy? Who will I play with? Who will play with my hair? Oh, oh God. I just, I just feel like just to kill myself. What is the value of this life? A child will be born just to die. Why didn't I just die instead of her? Oh, God. Oh, my baby, Aaliyah, where are you? Just a scary nightmare, right? Uh, no. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, come on, come, come back to bed. Come on, sleep. No, 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 I'm fine. Come on, relax. It's okay. Come and sleep, okay? Don't worry. Come on, just sleep. You'll be fine. All right? Huh? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Sleep. What am I doing here in the sun? Where am I? Uh, who are you? I'm Ori and I'm as dead as you are. I'm not dead. There's no way I can be dead. You are dead. I'm not dead. I said you are dead. I, mean, I said I'm not dead. Let me show you something. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much, baby darling. Mm, I really need this. Mm. Mm. So, how
how is the baby kicking? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's just a few weeks. <laughs> and how is Alfred and Natasha? They're fine. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing well. You sound rather too comfortable. Hmm? Have you forgotten the plan? The plan is to eliminate the two girls before you give birth to your baby. So you can gain prominence and take charge of everything Alfred has. Remember, he's the only son. I know. The thing is, I just feel so guilty about Aliyah's death. I feel like I killed her. Are you kidding me right now? Of course she killed her now. What? What is what? You don't know when you kill people. Hmm? If you had taken Alia to the hospital, would she have died, idiot? I think you should drink up and leave my house. You're asking me to leave your house? Actually, forget the drink. Get out. Ah uh ah! -uh. Drop it. Get out. With all pleasure. Killed Alia. And I must kill Natasha as well. Why are you crying? Hello. I miss my sister, my dad. I want to see them. You can't see them. You see, my friend, the dead and the living cannot have physical contact. Excuse me. I'm as dead as you are, so are spirits. You can't, we can't talk, touch, or feel them. But for those who perpetrated our death, we can frustrate them a little bit. People like Linda. That's my mom. Oh, sure. Your, your mom is Helen, not Linda. If Linda was your mom, she wouldn't have killed you. Tell my friend. We'll show Linda a little difference between the dead and the living. How? I'll help you. Deal? Deal. Okay. Wait for me. Alfred back. <gasps> Alfred is usually not this loud and noisy. He used to be. Don't insult my father. Oh, just show. Uh... Fred?
Yes, yes, I'm fine. Um, honey. Yes. You came a bit late today. Um, yes. I. It was her sports day in school today, so I had to wait for her. Oh, okay. Um, I was in the kitchen, so I'll just go back to my cooking and. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be in the room. Okay. Me too. I'll be in my room. Okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Natasha, make sure you drop your bag when you get to the room, okay? okay. Sweetheart, I'm upstairs. What? Your sister is coming. Just shut up and don't let her hear you. I know she won't hear me. I miss you so much. I miss you too. See me. Come and touch me. <laughs> what? She can't hear you, nor can she see you. Alia, we need to go back there. Go back there and do what? I thought you wanted revenge. Yes, I do, but you were a rather constituting nuisance, and I don't see how that would help quench my thirst for revenge. I guess I was having too much fun. What? I hate poison. Poison? What poison? My stepmother killed me through food poisoning. Linda, your stepmother is about to kill Natasha. We should go and stop her now. Let's go.
stop frowning your face, Natasha won't die. Okay. Want more? Mm. I should want more meat. <laughs> mm. This is good. Is a witch, yo. Do you understand? But I will show her that I'm a bigger witch. No, just. Alia. your husband do. You deserve to cry. I mean, after three years of marriage and now you've lost it and he's expecting you not to cry. Hey, baby girl, you deserve to cry. Pour out your heart and cry. Eh? Cry very well. After all the babalaos, the alphas, even the pastor that we went to that slept with you for just for you to get pregnant. Will you shut up? Are you mad? Aliyah! 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 I don't understand who. Huh? Yeah. Can't you see her? Yeah. Can't you see her? Who? Oh. Aliyah now, she's sitting with somebody. That girl, she's... My name is Uwe. She says her name is Uwe. Stop being dramatic, Jare. Ah, can't you see that girl? See who? Ha! Leah! What are you running to? What is wrong? What can you see? I can't see anything. I can't see her! Ah! Oh. Oh, you can't see her? 
Okay, I don't understand. Can you tell me to? See what? Where? I, I don't know. Aliyah. Aliyah. What, what are you talking about? Aliyah. Aliyah is long dead. Aliyah is not dead. She's very white. Aliyah. Aliyah is there. You can't see her. Where? Come on, Linda. What is it? Aliyah is dead. Good girl. Now confess to them that you killed Aliyah. Tell them that you had plans to kill Natasha too. Ah, can't say that word. I can't say that word. Can't say word. <laughs> Linda, what? Oh God, Linda, what is what is all this? What is going on? Confess now. I. You what? Linda, talk to me. I killed Alia. You did what? I killed Alia. Linda. It's so it's so cold in here. It's cold. It's cold. I think it's hot. Confess the last one. Ah, uh, I can't say that word. Oh my god. You can't say what? <laughs> Don't upset me. Mm. Say it at once now. Okay. Okay. Um you know, I killed I killed Helen. Alias mother. I I killed her. Linda! I was so jealous of your relationship and your love, so... Yeah. <sighs> I want tea. Mm -mm. It's more tea we drink. Linda. What's happening here? I... 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 I poisoned... I poisoned Natasha yesterday. Lord of Jesus. Oh, she didn't die. My goodness! She didn't die. Lord of Jesus! I poisoned her. You poisoned her? Mm. <sighs> I need to go pick my daughter's Linda! Dad, mom is raving mad. Yes. Linda! I won't see. You look, now, see, this is the end of the road for you. Okay? This is it. Now leave my house. Leave my house! Ali, I are done here. We need to go. Baby, come and eat. Come and eat. Leave my house now. Ah! Aliyah! Aliyah! Where is this useless girl? Have you watched the plate? Hmm. I will kill this child. Woo! I'm not afraid to die.